All right, so I got a new program here. It is called Run Application at Startup. Basically, all of this program does is add a registry key to one of these areas here or here. So let's do that. Let's add a uh, registry key so that a program will start up when the computer starts up. So to do that, come over to here. A little drop down menu here and we're going to select uh, one of these. We'll select current user. Next, we want to know the name of the program. You can name it anything you want. So, I'm going to name this one Poopy. And then in this area here, we want to put the path that that program uh, resides at. So let's just say that that is we'll say, oh Jesus Christ, god damn son of a bitch. Put that over there up in the wrong area there. Let me just, let me just copy that paste that over here. Okay, so let's just say the poopy program is on the C drive. Poopy. Poopy exe. Poop. Alright, now we want to create the key. So to do that, you're just going to click this button here. Boom. Are you sure you want to create the, the a key? Yes. Success! Yay! Alright, so how do we know that the key was actually made? Well, we can do that right here. So, what we want to do is um, come over to here, and wherever we put the key, whether we put it here or here, we want to select that. This part's already filled out, so you don't have to do nothing there. And then you just uh, click this button here. Boom. Let's see if our key is there. Poopy. There it is. It's there. So how do we know that it's really there? Well, we can uh, go to the actual registry editor and take a look. All right, here we are in the actual registry editor. And there's our key, poopy. There's the data. C, poopy, exe. So, next time I shut down my computer and restart it, it's going to try to start up, automatically start up, a program called poopy located on the C drive. Um, Unfortunately, I do not have a program called Poopy, and so I, I don't want my computer trying to, to start that, that program up. So we have to get rid of that key now. And to do that, we're just going to come down to here where it says Delete a Startup Key. Now, we could delete any of these keys. We can, Any of these keys we want, we could delete them, but we're going to delete Poopy. So we come over to here, we select the drop down again. Uh, current user, and all we have to do is type the name. And the name is Poopy. And after that, you just let's delete that key. I sure want to delete the startup registry key. Yep. Yes, I do. Success. Okay. So now the key's gone. And how do we know it's gone? check it out. So, um, all we have to do is click this button again. Boom. Poopy is gone. So, that's pretty much the gist of, of uh, how this program works. Um, the only other thing is uh, there is a custom area you can select from the drop-down. 
and basically uh, all that is is if you want to get to some other part of the registry uh, to view keys or add a key then uh, you can use that uh, same with same with down here and over here it's a little different than um, than here or here um, that's I don't you know what I don't know why but I was having a hard time getting this function to work exactly like these so I had to split uh, I had to split it up in these two areas here so it's it's basically the same you want a custom uh, area you custom path um, so you would select maybe you know instead of um, H key current user you could type H key user and then um, the rest of it over here you would simply just delete that and type the rest but but because I'm only um, messing around with uh, programs that start when the computer starts I I didn't get too fussy with uh, all the different areas of the registry so but um, you can get to them uh, so that's that's pretty much it that's how it works and uh, I'll leave the uh, source code below if you want to download the source code you can um, do that and uh, play around with this uh, you could add the rest of the registry stuff if you want um, do whatever you want it's just something to play around with so is that it that's it thanks for watching